Hey everybody, Scott Steen with Winners and Winers, host of Bank the Bed podcast, coming to you directly from the Winners and Winers studio here to talk a little bit about our first game of Maction this week. You know, as much as I talk about Maction and as excited as I get about it, last week, Maction kicked our butts. We did not do good on Tuesday or Wednesday, so we're back to give it another shot this week. Starting off with tonight's contest between the Western Michigan Broncos and the Ball State Cardinals. Tail of the tape goes a little something like this. Western Michigan is a seven and a half point underdog. Ball State is the home team there, and they are laying seven and a half. 55 is the over under. Uh, the records as far as these two teams goes, Western Michigan six and four straight up, three and seven against the number, while the over is cashed in five of their nine contests. Ball State, three and seven straight up, four and six against the spread, and the over has cashed just a third of the time in three games out of the nine contests that they have played. So, now that you know all the great stats, you know everybody's record and everything, you know what you can do with those records and those stats? You throw them out the window because they don't mean anything. Why? Because these two teams have both of their starting quarterbacks out of the game. And that means everything for these two guys. Um, Western, Western Michigan... Started off great. They lost to uh, lost to Syracuse, lost a tough one to Syracuse, lost to Michigan, and then they reeled off six straight victories, including four conference wins until disaster struck uh, just two games ago. They lost their quarterback for the season. They got a freshman starter. Since then, in the two games that the freshman started, they've been outscored 110 to 38. Ball State, they said, hey, I see what you did there. They proceeded to lose their last two games, 97 to 27. Apples and oranges, you say? Nope. Apples and apples. Both of these teams lost those two games to Toledo and Ohio. So now they get to meet each other in a Tuesday night contest. You know, guys, let me tell you something. If there's any handicapper, if there's any service out there that says they have a lock of this game, that they know what's going to happen, they can absolutely predict the outcome of this game, guess what? They're not telling you the truth. They're making educated guesses just like the rest of us. But in this case, those guesses are a little less educated because there's too many wild cards in this contest. Uh, Ball State had their leading rusher. He's been out the last two games. He'll be back, but he's nursing a back injury. It's 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 ugly out there. Both these teams uh, struggle on defense, uh, especially against good teams. Luckily, as we talked about, none of these teams are putting up the points. I'm going to make a play here because that's what I signed up to do. I play every game, at least play one game every day, and that's what we bring to you as far as the video goes. I would not trust either one of these two teams as far as a, as far as a side goes. I have no prediction at all whatsoever, Western Michigan and Ball State. Um, yeah, none. I, I don't. I, I can't. I can't put. Uh, I, I can't put all my eggs in Ball State's basket on a team that's a four and six against the number. Western Michigan looked a lot better. Uh, especially early in the season, like we said, they're just 3-7 and seven against the number. Hard pass on a side. Gun to my head. I'm going to make a play here. I'm going to play the under 55. I think the incompetent offenses get it done. Both these teams like to run the ball. They're going to run. They're going to run. They're going to run. And then when they get tired of running, you know what they're going to do? Bet you thought I was going to say run again. No, they're going to show a pass. They're not a service academy, for God's sakes. They're going to pass occasionally. But they want to establish the run, and they want to shorten the game. I think they get it done here. In spite of the bad defenses, I think the offenses are worse. That spells an under for me. So my official play on the Western Michigan Ball State game is under 55. Good luck, guys. We're all going to hold our breaths and uh, hold on to those tickets tightly. Hopefully, at the end of the game, we can all gather up our winners, and you and I can both head back to the window. You guys take care. Don't forget to check us out on all of our social media. Follow us on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, and most importantly, give this video right here, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, okay? Because that's what you do. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do these every day. When you subscribe, you get a little heads up anytime we post a video. So make sure you subscribe and uh, and do all that stuff with us. And give us some comments. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know if you're making the plays. We won five days in a row. We're going for six. We're going for six tonight. Wish us luck. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that all turns out. You guys take care. Good luck tonight. Until I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.